data visualization concepts. In this chapter, I want to teach you the common terms used when discussing visuals and dashboards. You'll learn the purpose of telling a data story. You'll see how to create visuals with a clear purpose and message, and be able to recognize well and badly designed visuals. The terms visuals and dashboards are used a lot in BI, so let's take a quick look at what they mean. A visual represents a single table, chart or diagram. A dashboard brings together several related charts to tell a story about the data. But what exactly is a story? A data story helps do one of the following. Provides more detail on the current data over time across categories or across locations. Helps identify the actual or forecasted consequences of the current data. Or helps identify the root causes of an issue or a particular success. In this example, we can see that the other department has been trending downwards over these four quarters. That's interesting, but I can't do anything with that. If I click on the other category, the table on the right now shows me which product groups are responsible for the decline in sales. Now I know that I need to speak with the assorted foods department to better understand our sales decline. And so a data story helps tie together those valuable pieces of information with insights that allow us to take action. When presenting data, one of the most important decisions we have to make is which type of chart to use. We have to pick the chart that communicates our message in the most effective way. This can depend on the type of data, the audience, as well as industry norms. Common chart types like bars, columns, line, area or waterfalls allow us to show variables across different categories or over time. Card visuals, scatter charts, tornadoes and box and whisker charts all serve more specific roles such as highlighting key figures or comparing two variables. Finally, tree maps, heat maps, maps and pie charts allow us to see how values look when broken down into more granular areas or groups. So as you can see, there are many different chart types we can choose from. We can all be tempted to include fancy looking visuals in our dashboards. But remember, the best chart is often the simple one that communicates a message with absolute clarity. CFI's data visualization course will help you understand exactly which chart to use in a given scenario, whilst giving you plenty of opportunities to practice. A key part of a good visual is that it draws the reader's attention to a key message or allows them to draw a meaningful conclusion. Again, we'll cover this in more detail in our visualization course, but for now, here's a few ideas. Simply presenting or comparing values can be done in a variety of ways, using length, size, annotation, order, averages, or even dual axes. In addition, we can highlight key messages or values using color, enclosure, shape, or position. It's worth remembering that our audiences ultimately want answers to their most pressing questions. Charts are used to answer questions, so make sure the answers are clear. BI is ultimately about using data to communicate a message. Let's take a look at a good and a bad example of a visualization. Imagine you're an FP&A manager for a large department store. Each week, you have a meeting to focus on a single department. This week, we're talking about the decorations department. Key questions that regularly arise are, what margin are we achieving in decorations? How does that compare to other departments? And what rank is this department in our business? So here are those questions again. In this first chart, we have all the information we need, but it's not easy to read. The grid lines, 3D bars and colors are distracting. Which bar is most important? Which period are we looking at? And it's difficult to compare the decorations and games departments to establish a rank. In this second example, the title and period are clear. The key data point is highlighted and the bars are ordered to help us establish a rank. 
In these examples, the same data has been presented in two different ways. One good, one bad. The way we present our data is absolutely vital to our communication. Clear, professional-looking visuals not only allow you to communicate clear messages, they build credibility with your audience. Unclear visuals often raise more questions than they answer. Every time your audience are left in doubt, unclear or not quite understanding, this devalues your reputation as an analyst. So make sure you make those charts clear. As we've seen, creating exceptional visuals is not just about making them look good, but about delivering a message. And often, the way you do that will depend on your audience. For example, in some companies or industries, it's common to see negative numbers displayed in red brackets. With such easily recognizable and powerful messaging, why change it? Secondly, have you ever considered how accessible your reports are to a colorblind person? This chart of revenue dependency to a key customer highlights in red the values above 20%. Green and red often seems like a natural choice for good and bad values, but just look at how this looks to a red-green colorblind person. Instead, this use of light gray versus a bold red easily highlights the key message to anyone. Colorblindness affects 8% of men and 0.5% of women, so it's well worth considering when you build your visuals. As we've seen, creating exceptional visuals is not just about making them look good, but about delivering a message. And often, the way you do that will depend on your audience. For example, in some companies or industries, it's common to see negative numbers displayed in red brackets. With such easily recognizable and powerful messaging, why change it? Secondly, have you ever considered how accessible your reports are to a colorblind person? This chart of revenue dependency to a key customer highlights in red the values above 20%. Green and red often seems like a natural choice for good and bad values, but just look at how this looks to a red-green colorblind person. Instead, this use of light gray versus a bold red easily highlights the key message to anyone. Colorblindness affects 8% of men and 0.5% of women, so it's well worth considering when you build your visuals. There are good and bad examples of visualizations all over the internet. One of my favorites is the Visual Capitalist, who publish interesting charts each week about a range of subjects in current affairs. Their charts are always of a high quality and are a great source of inspiration. Another great source are people's public dashboards that they create in Tableau. You can search through these for inspiration on Tableau Public. But the main point I want you to take away from this chapter is that visuals should serve a purpose. So have a think about what is the story that you want your visual to tell.